1.7 million UK homes use heating oil, many in rural areas without gas. Costs have spiralled, but the energy price cap that regulates what most of us pay for power does not cover this fuel. We're going to have to think about how we can keep you warm, must, because you're the one that's not well. Ira Fruitley's son, Stephen, has to keep warm due to a long-term illness, but for this household, it's a struggle. In just a few weeks, you're going to need more heating oil. What position does that leave you in? I just don't know how I'm going to find £670. They're just, you know, a really... Just no idea. As I can get so low in all this and you're pulling your hair out, you're just so depressed. Today in the House of Commons, growing concern about these high heating costs. I've had constituents who are quoted £2 a litre for heating oil. This not only affects working families, but pensioners in rural areas who are on a fixed income. Figures given to ITV News show prices in mid-February averaged from 60 to 70p a litre, more than doubling after the invasion of Ukraine. Though now declining from that peak, prices remain volatile. And now police in these areas are reporting a rise in thefts from oil tanks, with other regions issuing crime alerts. Yeah, and when we came, we realised that um, it had been stolen. This customer has been the victim of heating oil theft twice in recent months. Well, if you look at the tank behind me, that takes two and a half thousand litres. And given that they nicked about 1,100 litres, which would be about a thousand pounds at current prices, it's because oil prices are going up and either they, it has a resale value or it means the thieves don't have to buy their own. For households depending on oil tanks, there is no sign of more price protection in future. Government says it's driving £6 billion into making homes more energy efficient, but it seems the energy price cap will continue to leave them out in the cold. Chris Choi, ITV News, Stone Market.